You designed this card and well, you messed up. It should actually look like this. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do that perfect spacing for your designs. We're not gonna go over all these spacing systems, different Figma files that suggest you how to do it, all these tutorials. No, we're gonna dig deep. We're gonna go hands in and do the job. Hello, my workies fam. Welcome to my channel. My name is Mian. This is my workies. And today we're gonna talk about spacing and how you can create the perfect cards, the perfect designs with the right amount of spacing. This is something that you're gonna get better while you're on the job and you're doing it so make sure you follow me up while i'm designing that card while i'm talking about the spacing give this video a like leave a comment let me know what you think and subscribe let's go do something that your card could get from this type of card that has information overflow obvious wrong spacing no white space confusing button system and all that to a card that actually has hierarchy it's easy to follow easy to read with the white spacing between components before that i'm gonna let you know that there are a bunch of grid system spacing system that you can use this is an example from Figma community we have other spacing systems from tailwind from material from human so these are all what you can find this is an actually good example of showing you like how you can check out the spacing in your component and how you can actually make it work in the right way this is a good example but just by coming here i'm gonna teach you how to grow an eyes for stuff like this so from starters i'm gonna start with our margins and paddings and as you can see here it says 16 pixels for each margin and padding and that is awfully mistaken because it can differ from the system you're working with but i don't want to open up a card open up a modal with information as much as this one and like have so much little white space with the margin so the first step would be fixing this up to at least 40 <laughs> sorry for that seems like my auto layout was mistaken okay so 14 would be nice as you can see like let's just let's just take a step back let's keep this one here on the left side so as you can see just by changing the margins and patterns there's a huge difference happening in this file now you see you can actually see all the texts a lot better and i think that it's really important that you be able to add enough amount of padding and margin in your cards never use a small padding like 16 or 8 or stuff like that start at least from 32 pixels and then i'm gonna talk about how you can create a beautiful and nice spacing just by adding an enough spacing system between all your components from the close button the top and our let's say content section so i'm just going to click on it and obviously change this to 14 change this to actually let's say 32 and just by that i love how there's even more white space happening in this card the second thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to come over to this text over here and i'm going to make it two lines so again i want the user to have a lot of white space to scroll between the card the name and the tip that we put here again the tip as you can see has a small amount of margin i'm going to change that to at least 16 and then i don't like the spacing within this one it's four i'm going to change that to eight and yes that is good for now except that i want these two to be more on the right side of this file so i'm just going to fix that for a second that will be like that this would be something like this okay now i like how it has a nice spacing and let's add 40 for between these two i guess 40 might be a lot let's have 24 and now i really love how there is a good amount of spacing here and last but not least i want this one to actually start from where the text starts right there okay that looks good 
So you can see again, wow, the difference. You see, we have this beautiful white space here and then the text is working out here. Beautiful. And then let's move on to our install tool, which is a component where you can add tags, basically. As you can see, the spacing here is 24. I'm going to reduce it to 16 and then 8, maybe. Yes, yeah, so much better. Then obviously, let's just look at the button spacing. We have 8 pixels in between. Beautiful. 16 pixels for margin and 16 people with 8 pixels for vertical padding. That's beautiful. Let's just change the spacing between the text here and button to at least 16. Let's just go ahead and do everything else with it here as well. So since we have a button here i don't want to have button overflow here i'm gonna change the system so instead of being like this i want it to be under this text over here again 16 pixels at least and i think that's actually a decent size at this point and then I'm going to change the spacing between all these components from 60 to 24. Let's wrap up these ones, call them content again. And then let's have a little bit more spacing here. Instead of 24, let's have 40. It looks better. Let's just make that a little bit less because I think that's up too much. And yeah, that's it. As you can see, it's just a little bit of spacing adjustments. I turned this card that has a lot of problems and is like really hard to navigate to this card that actually makes sense and your users will obviously love it. Yeah, make sure you have these things when you're spacing out your designs and your cards and your everything will look as awesome as this card and not as bad as this one. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And let me know if this was helpful for you. I'm going to see you in the next one. And bye.